In our previous video, we looked at how to install Oracle VirtualBox on our Windows 11 system. In this lesson, we'll go a step further and install Ubuntu 22.04 as our preferred Linux system on Oracle VirtualBox. The reason we have opted to go with Ubuntu 22.04 is that Ubuntu is one of the most user-friendly and intuitive uh, Linux, Linux desktop and it's mostly preferred for beginners due to its simplicity and ease of use. So now, without much further ado, head over to your browser. So on your browser, search for Ubuntu download and hit enter. So you get a number of search results. So here, I'm going to go with the first one. So I'm going to right click here and open it in a different tab. So this takes you to the official Ubuntu desktop download page. So feel free to scroll and read the information displayed here. So here you can see that Ubuntu 22.04 version 3 is the latest LTS release for Ubuntu. Now LTS stands for long-term support. And what this simply means is that you'll get five years of free security and maintenance updates until April 2027 from the time of making this video. All right, so here you can see a list of recommended system requirements. So you need a minimum of two gigahertz dual core processor or better, four gigabytes of memory, 25 gigabyte, gigabytes of hard disk space. It's preferred if you have internet access, all right, and either have a DVD drive or a USB port for the installation media. Now, since we'll be installing on Oracle VirtualBox, we won't need this. So the only thing we need is the ISO image file. So now to install or rather to, to download the ISO file, hit down, hit the download button here. And you can see that your download should start automatically. OK, so in my case, when I click on this link, you can see that the ISO image file download is underway. However, I have already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel out, okay, and I'm going to minimize this. All right, so now we already have the ISO image in place. Now, moving along, launch your Oracle VM application, okay. So here, to get started, first we need to create the virtual machine itself. And to do that, click on the new button here provide the name of the virtual machine. So here I'm going to call it uh, Ubuntu hyphen 22.04. Okay. So for the folder path, for the path of the destination folder, I'm going to leave this as it is. For the ISO image, I'm going to click this arrow here and then I'll select other. So this is going to take me to the downloads page. So you're going to need to navigate to where you have downloaded Ubuntu. So in this case, I've downloaded it on the downloads uh, folder. So I'm going to click that and click open. All right. So here I'm going to click skip unattended installation. So this is meant to allow us to manually install Ubuntu or the guest OS on Oracle VirtualBox. So once that is done, um, click next. So in this section, you're going to specify the memory and the processor cores that your system will run, or rather the guest OS, which is Ubuntu, will run or will use. So here, uh, I'm going to adjust this to around uh, 4 GB, okay, which translates to 4096 megabytes. For the processor calls, I'm going to I'm going to give it two calls, okay. Then I'm going to click next. Then in this step, you're going to specify the volume of the hard disk. So here, I'm going to give it. Uh, around 40.55 gigabytes. Remember, the minimum requirement is 25 gigs, but you can always add more if you 
if you prefer to do so okay so with that i'm going to click next so here you get a summary of all the configuration that you have chosen for your ubuntu virtual machine okay so if you are happy with your choices you can gladly click on finish or if you want to adjust something you can click back in our case i'm satisfied with the choices i've made so i'm just going to click finish so once you have successfully created the virtual machine you'll see the virtual machine over to the left sidebar over here now to get along with installing ubuntu on the virtual machine simply press the start button here okay so this will open uh, the virtual machine in a different uh, window as you shall see shortly all right and here we go so here you see the virtual box uh, logo and here you can see the the boot options the first option is already pre-selected and this is the option that you're going to use to install ubuntu so i'm going to close this right sidebar here okay so i'm, I'm going to now press enter so the installer is getting ready and there you can see we have the ubuntu logo so this will take about a few seconds until the installer finally shows up so that we can install ubuntu so just give it uh, a few seconds and there you go so you can see that now we have the ubuntu 22.04 desktop uh, already displayed with the iconic uh, jellyfish logo all right and there we go so you'll get to see this installer or this installation wizard here now we have two options the first option is to try ubuntu so this allows you to give ubuntu a test drive and to explore the various features that it offers all right and the second uh, option is the install ubuntu option so this is the option you're going to go with since our mission is to install ubuntu so go ahead and click on install ubuntu all right now the second step we will be provided with the keyboard layout by default this is set to us english all right and uh, you have a text bar here that you can use just to test the keyboard layout so i'm just going to type a few words hello world all right so you see we can see that uh, this is what we want so just go ahead and click continue all right in the next step uh, you'll be prompted to uh, choose a few selections so here we're going to go with the normal installation so this is going to install the web browser utilities and other graphical components such as office games and media players so down below we are also going to check uh, installed third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media format all right so click continue so as you can see here we can see preparing ubuntu drivers so just uh, give it a few seconds okay all right so here we have the installation step so the installer gives you two options the first option is to erase and install ubuntu so what this option does is that it wipes out your hard drive and deletes all your programs and documents and files all right and in addition to this it also uh, automatically partitions your hard drive so this is the most preferred option for beginners or those without the know-how of how to manually partition their hard drive all right now in this second uh in the second option we have something else so this is mostly used by intermediate and advanced uh, advanced users so this allows you to uh, to create and resize the partitions for yourself all right so if you have the enough technical know-how of how to create and resize the partitions for yourself choose this second option but for for now we're going to use we're going to go with the first option for simplicity so just click on install now all right so when prompted to write changes to the disk just go ahead and continue so here you have a, a preview of the partition table all right so just uh, click continue and the installer will intelligently uh, partition the hard drive for you so you don't have to worry about that okay so now in the next step you'll be 
asked to provide your geographical location so i'm in nairobi kenya so i'm just going to click uh, somewhere on the map that corresponds to my current geographical location so i'm in nairobi so i'm going to click continue all right so in this step here i'm going to provide my credentials so i'm going to provide my name so here i'm going to provide james uh computer name so this i'm going to give it uh ubuntu hyphen vm like that all right so just feel free to uh, give whichever name you prefer okay so for the password i'm going to give it uh, my preferred password so ensure you give it a strong password all right so i'm just going to click uh, continue so at this point the installer is going to copy all the files from the iso image to the virtual machine and also perform some other configurations so that the operating system can be now used upon installation so this step will take quite a while and uh, it can take roughly 15 to 20 minutes depending on your computing specifications that is ram and cpu so at this point you can just take a short break you can go, you can have a cup of coffee as the installation proceeds so at this point i'm going to pause this video and i'm going to come back once the installation is complete and finally we are done with the installation now the installer will prompt you to restart to complete the installation so go ahead and click the restart now button so this is going to restart uh, ubuntu so just give it a few seconds as the restart uh, is underway and uh, here you'll see the notification to remove the installation media so i'm just going to go ahead and press enter okay so this restarts the virtual machine and in a few moments we are going to log in into a freshly installed ubuntu instance so on your screen you can see the boot messages and we are just about to log into ubuntu okay so you can see uh the system the os is preparing to to launch and finally you'll see this login screen that prompts you to log into ubuntu so just go ahead and click on your username here and provide your password so i'll hit enter So this is going to usher us to the Ubuntu 22.4 desktop, as you can see here. And there we go. We have successfully installed Ubuntu 22.04. So now for the post installation step, you're going to see this wizard here. Okay. So here in the first step, you'll be prompted to create your online accounts. Uh, you can do this uh, anytime. So for now, we're going to skip this. So I'm going to hit the skip button. So next we are prompted to enable Ubuntu Pro, but we can we'll skip this for now. Okay. So just go ahead and click next. Uh, for now we'll decline to send system information to Canonical. So we we'll just uh, opt out. So I'm just going to click next. So for the location services, you can just uh, leave it the way it is or you can enable it if you want to. But for now, I'm just going to leave it disabled. Then I'll click next. And uh, finally, you can uh, you, you, you can see the variety of software that you can install from the software center. But for now, we're just going to click done and you can do that later. So yeah, here we go. We have successfully installed Ubuntu 22.04 now just before I wrap up this video you can clearly see that we have a, a small screen here and uh, no matter what we do we can't uh, scale full size 
Now to fix this issue, what you're going to do is that you're going to install a special package called VirtualBox Guest Editions. So this package enhances your user experience. It allows you to uh, scale full screen and equips you with a host of other features and functionalities. Uh, for example, it allows you to use a USB device with your virtual machine. It also allows you to copy and paste text from the host system, which is Windows, to your virtual machine. All right, now to do so, what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the devices uh, tab here on the menu bar. So click on it and uh, navigate all the way down to insert guest edition CD image. So you're going to click on this. All right, so on the navigation bar here, you can see the virtual box uh, guest editions icon. So double click on it. Okay, so here you can see that we have uh, opened uh, the virtual box uh, guest editions folder. So, to, so what you're going to look for, you're going to uh, right click on the auto run dot sh script file, right click and uh, click run as program. Now, when you do so, you're going to be prompted to provide your password for authentication. And I'm going to do exactly that. And hit enter. So once you hit enter, you can see that the installation of the VirtualBox guest editions package is in progress. So this will take just a few seconds. So some little patience will do as the installation uh, goes on. And as you can see, we have managed to scale full screen even as the installation is in progress. So this is what you should expect on your end. Okay. So this confirms that the VirtualBox guest editions has successfully been installed. And now you can enjoy the privilege of using the full screen size just as your Windows PC. All right. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to hit enter. All right. And then I'm also going to close this out because now we have already installed VirtualBox guest editions on Ubuntu, all right? And that's about it for this lecture. Thank you for coming this far. I hope that you found this uh, insightful. So now see you in the next lesson.